Hey Central New York artists, I'm Huey Stonefish. I graduated from James Earl DeWitt High School in 2007. I live in Los Angeles now and I'm in a comedy band called Lou Burger. We were finalists on an NBC show called Bring the Funny. I won an Emmy for my work uh, with an outstanding original song fighting anti-Semitism in the media. And I'm so happy to be here talking to all of you. I looked through everything that y'all made. It's amazing. The artistry, the passion, the dedication, the skill, the talent, it shines through. Art has the ability to change people's lives. We can talk about social issues. We can influence people's opinions. We can express our own points of view. We can understand our thoughts and feelings more deeply through art. You all wield the power of art. As you go forward in your life, that will take many shapes. Some of you will become professional artists, some of you won't, but all of your lives are enriched by art now and you can enrich other people's lives. So, great job, congratulations, I'm so honored to be here. Let's kick off this amazing event. Thanks so much, y'all. Hey there, I'm Sophie. Hey there, I'm Karen. We're your co-hosts for this exciting time to celebrate all of you. Welcome to the 2021 Central New York Scholastic Art Virtual Awards Ceremony. Wah, wah, wah. So sorry, we won't be able to see you walk across the stage to accept your awards. But the good news is that the challenge of the pandemic did not stop you from submitting thousands of artwork, having it judged, and now we applaud your artistry. We will celebrate all the gold key winners during this ceremony, but we won't have the detailed information. You'll have to visit the virtual exhibit for that. Your student names, the school, and more will be there. In fact, the virtual exhibit will have all of the winners, the gold key, the silver key, and the honorable mention. Sophie? So let's get started with a look at last year's national award winners for Central New York, followed by a special message from Onondaga Community College. OCC has been the host site for over two decades. We miss them and they miss us this year.
Hi, I'm Casey Crabel, president of Onondaga Community College. This is the Whitney Building where I work. And one of the highlights of being in this building on this campus during the coldest and dreariest months of the year is that I get to see your artwork on these walls. And I can tell you, your creativity and your passion inspires us daily in the dark days of winter. We are so sorry that we couldn't display your work this year and that we couldn't host the CNY Scholastic Arts Award Ceremony. Believe me when I tell you, we miss having your art here as much as you miss having it displayed. I'd like to thank all the art faculty who are working so hard to keep art alive during the pandemic. I wanna congratulate all of the artists participating in this wonderful event. I hope you have a great time and please know that we are saving space right here on these walls for you next year. Thanks. The amount of time that goes into this prestigious art awards program is monumental, but it would not be possible without the generosity of m and Bank. We thank them for sponsoring and encouraging this program for more than a dozen consecutive years. Special awards are a big part of this ceremony. Area businesses and organizations participate in many ways to add to the honors. And our first one is for Best Photography Portfolio. Only current seniors are eligible to enter a six-piece portfolio. Judges look for original work and creative design. Lightwork, since 1973, has provided direct support to artists who work in the mediums of photography and digital imaging through exhibitions, lectures, classes, artist residencies, publications, and other related projects. We are so grateful that they continue a tradition of recognizing outstanding work in photography by honoring the gold key portfolio selected as Best in Show. The Light Work Award for Best Photography Portfolio goes to Lyndon Cook, Norwood Norfolk High School. Uh, for my portfolio, uh, the gold key one, uh, I wanted to just focus on, um, you know, how I've come to deal with problems in my life and deal with challenges uh, that we all face as humans and we all have a different way of uh, coping and getting through things that challenge us and uh, I wanted this portfolio to kind of speak to the way that um, I get through challenges in my life. It's definitely nice to get recognized for the work you put in uh, but for me it was more of just the enjoyment came from creating the artwork and uh, taking the time to get better. And, uh, you know, the recognition that I got for it was just, you know, was just bonus for me. The, the best part was really just making it. There are more special awards judged to be the best of the best in their specified category. Syracuse University Newhouse School Visual Communications Department sponsors two scholarships for photography and design. The Photography Vision Award goes to Evan Cook from Manlius Pebble Hill School. And the Design Vision Award goes to Maggie Griffiths from Chittenango High School.
The, my portfolio was a series of diptychs and triptychs that portrayed my eating disorder journey from the worst of it back in August of 2020 to where I'm currently at today in recovery. Now I could show like, not just for other people, but for myself, like, yes, like this, this change is happening, but it's still beautiful. Your body is a work of art, not just some social standard in a sense. I and mean, it is like nice to know that people do appreciate the work that I put out and I, hopefully I can inspire other people to like, you know, be more vulnerable in their artwork. Two awards sponsored by Clayscapes Pottery and Independent Potters Association of Central New York honor outstanding work in ceramics and glass. Clayscapes Pottery Award for Best Creative Design goes to Hannah Cooley, Carthage High School. And Independent Potters Association of Central New York Award for Best Functional Design goes to Elena Cantor, Christian Brothers Academy. The John D. Barrow Art Gallery in Skinny Atlas is home to over 400 oil paintings by the noted second generation Hudson River School artist, John D. Barrow. This year, the award for best landscape goes to Colt Lindacker, Blauville High School. The Tracy L. Haler Craftsmanship Award recognizes outstanding craftsmanship achieved in any of the arts categories and this year, the award goes to Melanie Michael from Casanova High School. We can never have enough special awards from our generous local sponsors. This next award recognizes the best effort in photography and is sponsored by Rudy Hellman Photography. In remembrance of Rudy's dad, Ron, the Ron Hellman Photography Award for Best Photo goes to Julia Tupage of New Hartford High School. Syracuse Cultural Workers is a Syracuse-based national publisher of message-oriented resources. They sponsor this next award because they want to recognize art that raises awareness and inspires debate in the area of peace, social justice, diversity, and or respect for our fragile earth. The Peace and Justice Award goes to Emma Whipple of Skinny Atlas High School. The title of my portfolio is called Man-Made Elegance. My theme, I guess, or big idea was architecture and a sort of linear man-made. The first piece in the portfolio that I made, um, I made it randomly. I was like, I like this picture. I like all these lines. It looks cool. I did a very detailed colored pencil, uh, like super, super realistic and it turned out really cool and everyone liked it. They're, they are all man-made things, like their buildings, their stairs, their statues. But one thing that stood out about all of them is that they're just so beautiful to look at. And it's not, it's not like nature created them, like we created them, but they're still so beautiful. Art is not really interpreted the same by different people. So you never know if someone's going to appreciate your art like the same way you do. But it is kind of nice to, I don't know, it's satisfying to have someone think the same way you do. So it's really nice to win awards. When coming up with my portfolio theme, I took inspiration from nature, which is something that's very important to me, and just the desire to create art. I chose the works I did because each, each of them reflect the beauty of nature in some way and they're the works that I'm most proud of.
Honestly, winning a gold key is incredibly important to me. It's honest, one of the greatest accomplishments of my high school career. To me, winning this year has been um, more special than winning in previous years. Um, this year has just been full of disappointments and hardships, so I feel like it was just really astonishing and shocking to hear the news that I won a gold key, and it's something that's very important to me and special. Creating artwork has been, remained stable for me. It's one thing that's remained stable throughout the pandemic. Um, it's really helped me get through, and it's something that I know I always can rely on. The Director's Awards are for the Best Senior High Painting and Best Senior High Drawing. They are presented on behalf of the Central New York Scholastic Art Council. The Best Painting Award goes to Annabelle Davis, Manlius Pebble Hill School. And the Best Drawing goes to Becky Jones, Homer High School. Don't go away. There's a message from the Central New York Art Council, more gold key art and presentations of the Best Fine Arts Portfolio and Teacher Inspiration Award by OCC Foundation. So don't go. Hello there. My name is Michael Field, and I have the pleasure of being the president of the Central New York Art Council. This is the organization that puts together the Scholastic Art Show every year. This was an extremely challenging year for everyone. But artists, young artists, and people connected with the arts are very resilient. I just want to thank OCC and MT Bank for the continued support of the art program and the program to help get this show going every year. I also want to thank our volunteer judges and our volunteer teachers who give up their time to make this show happen. I want to give a special thanks to Jerry Kanyu, Karen Franklin, Matt Sincata, Kyle Zier, Chris Barrett, and Carrie Hammond for their technical expertise on getting this virtual show up and running. But I also really want to thank the students who gave up their time and energy and created great artwork under difficult circumstances to make this show the best show ever. I have to be honest, I had my doubts. Not because of your artistic capabilities, but the fact that all of you lost the capability of working in the classroom last spring to create art. Most of you are only in the classroom part-time this academic year. Some of you are doing art virtually for the whole year. All I can say is, this is a wonderful show. You exceeded my wildest expectations. All students, whether you got a gold key, silver key, or honorable mention, should be so proud of what you've accomplished this year under extreme, extremely difficult conditions. I just want to say, Thank you. Take care. Hey, I'm Jeff Knaus, and I'm very pleased to represent the Onondaga Community College Foundation Board of Directors and Scholarships Committee in presenting the Best Fine Arts Portfolio and the Teacher Inspiration Awards. The OCC Foundation provides more than a million dollars in scholarships, academic, and other student and programming support to Onondaga Community College and its students. And like the Scholastic Art Council, we are committed to local students and dedicated to excellence in education. With that, I'll begin recognizing the winner of the Onondaga Community College Award for Best Fine Arts Portfolio, Grace Bloom. 
Grace is a senior at Fayetteville Manlius High School. As we congratulate her, let's also extend kudos to her art teacher, Ellen Hafer. I did a piece last year where I painted hands and flowers and I really enjoyed it. And I figured why not just do it for my portfolio too, for the AP. Um, so I continued. Um, I just started another piece and I kind of took a break from that one because of COVID. And then I started another piece and I realized I really, really love painting hands and then incorporating them with flowers. And I just think they always look so cool together. They're very interesting structurally. I just really enjoy painting them because like, just ex like enjoying the beauty of nature in the moment. I use my friend, she has, she's the hands like in every single painting. She has very angular, like bony hands, which are really interesting to paint. Seeing like the angles and like the muscles, particularly in some of them, I really emphasized. Like the muscles in the wrists, the knuckles, the cracks in the knuckles, and just how they played into the, like, the petals. I think it's really exciting because I've won awards in the past. Last year, the American Divisions nomination. And I didn't think I could get anything better, but I did, and I wasn't expecting it at all. I, so I think that would made it more special because I wasn't expecting anything big this year. I just did what I liked doing, and I submitted it for fun. The OCC Foundation partners with the Central New York Art Council in giving its next award, the Nicholas Todesco Inspiration Award. Nick taught art in Central New York for 53 years at Blodgett, West Hill, Lafayette, and OCC. He supported the Scholastic Competition for many years, winning awards himself in the 1950s. Over the years, his students earned gold keys in every major category of the competition at local and national levels. As a teacher, he believed that there's a genius in every student. In keeping with Nick's legacy and values, the Scholastic Teacher Inspiration Award is given to an educator who inspires students to enter the Scholastic Arts program and is a credit to his or her profession by encouraging young artists. The honoree receives a gift certificate for art supplies from the Art Council and then selects a worthy student who will receive a $500 OCC Foundation Scholarship for Art Education right here at Onondaga Community College. But this year, the honor goes to a group, a team of three outstanding art teachers and artists, not only for their support and continuous dedication to the arts in Central New York, but in light of this challenging year of the pandemic, it was their hours of technical setup and assistance that made remote judging possible for thousands of artworks submitted. The program coordinator said, from our perspective, they were a crucial part of the process this year. Judging would not have happened, but for the work they put in ahead of time, planning and troubleshooting to make sure they, we could manage uh, judging virtually. Without judging, there would be no awards. Therefore, without these guys and their hard work, there would be no program this year. You've had enough suspense. Join me in applauding three of the best, the recipients of the N Nicholas Tedesco Teacher Inspiration Award for 2021, Chris Barrett from J.C. Burlbo High School, Phoenix Central Schools, Matt Sincata from East Syracuse Minowa High School, and Kyle Zare from Lowville High School. Um, hi, I'm Matt Sincata uh, from ESM High School. Uh, I've been there for 16 years, and uh, I'm, I'm deeply appreciative of uh, the award this year uh, for the Nicholas Tedesco uh, Teacher Inspiration Award, along with uh, my colleagues Kyle Zare and Chris Barrett. Um, I'd like to thank ESM School District, of course, uh, for uh, what's been hopefully a wonderful half of a career so far, and hopefully uh, another half on the back end of this. Um, and uh, I'd just like to say, I think uh, for me, Scholastics is important because it's our opportunity to um, kind of put our heads together as colleagues and support our students across the greater region. And uh, I have always felt that Art education is is important to the whole student, uh, whether it's a career or a passion or both. Um, I can't speak enough about the confidence and the individuality that I see expressed in students every year. So um, I also thank my my students for their trust in me. So thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. Awesome. Uh, so I'm Kyle Zare. I teach at Laval Academy. 
Um, I teach high school art um, at Lowville. Um, same as Matt, same as Chris, totally honored to receive this. I can't, can't thank everybody enough. I can't thank you students enough, you student artists. You know, you guys put in the work to make this stuff happen. Uh, I've been at Lowville for 10 years. Uh, I've been a part of Scholastic since 2003-ish when I was in high school. So as a student and as a teacher uh, during college, I helped out. So I've always had kind of my feelers into Scholastics. And I think it's such an important opportunity for you um, young artists to have this chance to display the mastery, you know, that, that you can with, with your craft. And um, I think it's just a testament to the hard work especially during a, a, a transition year, a difficult year like this, you students are making it, making it show that you're, you're dedicated. And I think it's quite ironic that they, they call it the Nicholas Tedesco Teacher Inspiration Award because truly, I, I'm sure Matt and Chris can speak to this, that we are inspired by you folks, truly. Like every single day, my students are doing things and I'm like, I need to go create now because I'm inspired by you. So just know that, you know, we are honored for this, but without you guys, we wouldn't be here. And, and, you know, Chris will speak a little bit to the, the amount of time and, and people it takes to make this happen. Cause it's far beyond us three. So again, thank you so much. You guys keep creating, you're doing a fantastic job. Take every opportunity that you can and just, yeah, be you. Awesome. Um, I'm Chris Barrett. I work at uh, JCB High School in Phoenix. Um, I'm an art and photography teacher, and I've been at Phoenix as a middle school teacher and um, high school teacher for about 14 years now. Um, I started with Scholastics as a middle school teacher, wanting to get my students more involved in the process of getting their work out there and being seen and being a part of a large exhibition. And um, over the years of working with Scholastics, I've done everything from just uh, being that first year teacher volunteer to um, working extensively with the hanging of the show every year at OCC. Um, as well as the technology team uh, that we have here. Um, we all really look at this as just another thing that we've had to be flexible with and make work. It's just like hanging a show when you have a, um, an odd shaped piece that needs to be hung. It's just something to um, deal with in, in the course of hanging a large exhibition like this. Uh, we hang hundreds upon hundreds of pieces every year. And even with the virtual exhibit um, with reduced numbers because of everything that's going on right now, um, it's still quite an undertaking. And we had um, a process of getting our judges, which used to be in person to the digital platform. And we had 50 plus judges um, uh, at their home with our teacher volunteers facilitating the judging stations. And, um, you know, it just, it, it was just what needed to be done to make the show a success. Um, you know, I, I, I really have to thank these guys for helping out with stuff. I have to thank our um, coordinator and all of the teacher volunteers in all of their capacities. It wouldn't happen without them, period. Um, and the students that we all have that we do get inspired by, um, you know, again, without them, we're just uh, art teachers in the classroom. And so this is really great to be able to put on this large venue that covers a large region and to get these kids to um, be able to share their stuff. Um, it is really inspiring to hang the work and then to walk the halls and bring your students to this exhibition and see it. Um, it's, uh, it, it's always a good, healthy dose of um, seeing what these kids can do. And it's great to be a part of that. And uh, it's great to have good team members to, uh, you know, really just get the work done. So thank you very much. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.
Last but not least of our special awards is the five pieces we're about to see that come from all the individual Gold Key winners, judged to be the best of show. They receive recognition as American Vision's nominees, and one of these five will then be chosen by an esteemed panel of judges at the national level to receive the American Vision's medal for the Central New York region. We welcome a new sponsor for these awards, the Print Hub Syracuse. The five American Vision's nominees are Lydia Coombs of Fayetteville Manley's High School, Annabelle Davis of Manley's Pebble Hill School, Natalie Garrow of Casanova High School, Becky Jones of Homer High School, and Gavin Shivey new, from New Hartford High School. Thank you for being part of this year's virtual awards ceremony. All of the Gold Key winners will go on to be considered at the national level for recognition. Last year, Central New York had 27 national awards. Maybe we'll beat that record this year, Karen. Oh yes, Sophie, that's definitely possible. Well, we hope you enjoyed every moment of your time joining us in the celebration of your masterpieces. Now, go and see the virtual exhibit. It has all the Gold Key, Silver Key, honorable mention and special awards, plus your name, your school, your artwork information. Thanks again for joining us. Stay safe.